Good morning, everyone. We all know about the internet, otherwise we wouldn't talk about this project now. And most of us connected to Wi-Fi network, but did you wonder what's the difference between them? Are there no other types of network? What does it consist of? In the project, we have provided you with the most important types of networks that are widespread today. Firstly, I will talk about the definition of network. A network is a group of computers, servers, mainframe computers, network devices, bare frills, and other devices linked together in a way that allows the exchange of data. And the most important example of a network is the internet that connects millions around the world. And the types of a network, networks are often classified according to their scale or size. The most common types are Firstly, local wireless network, it's abbreviation WLAN. WLAN provides wireless network connections that cover short distance by using radio waves or infrared waves instead of conventional network cables. A local network can be created by using different wireless network protocols, and the most common types of wireless network are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's often confused with the word wireless and Wi-Fi, the wrong confusion. Of course, because the wireless network is much wider than Wi-Fi. What's wrong? Secondly, local network LAN. A LAN connects a group of devices that are relatively close to each other, such as a school or home. Sometimes a single building may contain several small local networks, and a local network may extend to connect a group of adjacent building. It can owned by a single person or organization. They are often based on Ethernet and token ring protocols. Thirdly, wide network one, as its name indicates the one it spans really large distance and the internet is the largest such vast network on Earth. A wide network consists of a group of local network they spread geographically. The local networks are connected with the, the one using a network device called a router. A wide area network one differs from a local area network clan. In several important issues, most ones like the internet aren't owned by any organization and are collectively owned or distributed managed one tends to use protocols such as ATM frame relay and X25 to achieve long distance communications. I will talk about how to connect LAN and WAN. We usually use a local network in homes and connect it to the internet with an ISP via a modem, which is a small device that connects to your internet. Servers provide ISP to take advantage of all internet resources. The connection is via a cable, regular cable, or fiber optic cable, or a home telephone line, ADSL, that runs from outside your home to the socks on the back on your modem. The ISP provides an IP address for the wide area network, WAN, and all computers on a home network use IP addresses for the LAN. All computers on a local network LAN can communicate directly with each other, but it must pass through a central network gateway, and it's usually used with a modem router, which is a device that enables you to share your modem's internet connection with all your devices or that allows have her log into your network. Usually, a router and a modem integrate into one hybrid device, usually called a router, and this is also a common mistake over the Ethernet cable and passes as the internet connection to other devices in your home either by cable or wirelessly over a Wi-Fi network. Finally, there are types of networks, MAN, Metro Lighting, Area Network. The urban network extends over an area that is larger than the area of the local network, and it is smaller than the large network, such as a city or government rate, and it's usually owned by a government body or a large company. There are other types of network, but they are less common, such as the controller, area network, CAN, and the body area network band. This network is much more than. It's much more than.
network is much wider than Wi-Fi. Most ones like the internet aren't network plan. In several ways, a multi-router, which is a device enabled to you to share your motors and the body area network plan. 